a giant fork got thrown in my plans, so I'm going to be moving back to Florida because there is a bun in the oven. And right now, another the, the first bun is already out of the oven, wrecking havoc everywhere. And the second one is coming. So I am going to make my way back to Florida and be closer to family because I am definitely going to need them around. Right now, I don't really have much family out here, only one person. And that is not enough. Grandparents were super helpful when I had the first one. So this one here, I hope to be the same thing because uh, it's going to be rough, you know, just being out here alone and trying to do my day to day work and then also tend to the older kid and then the new kid. And then, you know, that gets exhausting. So that's why I am leaving North Carolina this early, not right at this moment, but in a few months when uh, the appointments start to become a lot sooner. Because I don't know why pregnant women want to have like appointments like two weeks back to back. I guess because of the miscarriage, they said something high risk and all of that stuff. And I can't really take that risk. And I would rather not fly back and forth or drive back and forth from North Carolina to Miami every like nine days for an appointment that is not cost effective and it is very time consuming tiring and lugging around a baby already like no I don't want to go through that so when that time comes I might as well just go back to Miami and stay there um because we want to you know have the baby in the same hospital we had the first one because had a really great experience. We have family that works there, so we just feel extremely comfortable. And our healthcare is down there for for that kind of stuff. So don't want to pay out the, you know, for a baby. Not saying there's two. Not saying my dad's a twin and her family has twins in the bloodline. Not saying we're having twins. Not saying my sister had triplets a few months a year ago. Definitely not twins. So whatever you're thinking, it's not that. And I'm not blowing my brains out preparing for twins because that's not going to happen. OK, so, yeah, a lot of things are going to be changing. Oh, man, babies really do put a fork in your plans. Let me know what you guys think about the situation. If you have any advice for your boy too blunt on handling this again. Let me know because uh, I'm sure there's something that I haven't thought about that you have gone through or know someone that did. And any little bit of advice could help, even if it, you may think that I already know it. Just let me know in the comment because maybe I don't. Maybe I do or maybe I don't, you know. So, yeah, that's what's going on. That's why I'm moving back. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get videos out because I'll be at like my uncle's house and I don't really have a studio set up there yet. So background is probably going to be ugly and stuff. So whenever that time comes, when you guys see like, you know, not a clean studio and stuff, then you, you understand. Um, but I've recorded like 20 plus videos, just have to edit them and I'll have like videos for a month. And then after that, I'll have to figure it out. So, uh, thank you for watching bun in the oven, <sighs> maybe two buns. Not three buns for sure, but it's between one or two. I don't know. Keep your fingers crossed for me, people. One bun. Not two buns. Oh, can you imagine having one and then two the next time? You get three kids in a row? Like, nah, no. My dad set me up. The mom side set me up. Her mom side set me up. It's like, I hope not. Anyway, peace out.